Hello Flight Sim enthusiasts and welcome to the exciting world of Desktop Pilot. My name is Emily Green and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up our efficient fuel tank select in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So get ready to tank up on excitement. Step 1 is a moment of connection. Grab the Type-B end of your USB cable and plug it into the back of the device. Next, grab the other end and plug it into your USB hub. To check if you're connected, look for the red light at the back indicating the device is on. Now we're ready to launch Microsoft Flight Simulator and configure our device. Now go to Options. Under Options, select Controls Options. Select your device, which is the fuel tank select. Then go to the search by name bar and type Instruments and Systems. Or change the filter to All and select Instruments and Systems. Click on the drop-down menu and select Fuel. Then scroll down to find Toggle Engine 1 Fuel Valve and apply 1. Click on Validate. Then scroll down to find Fuel Selector 1 Right and apply 4. And click on Validate. Then scroll down to find Fuel Selector 1 Right and apply 4. Click on Validate. Then scroll down to find Fuel Selector 1 Left and apply 2. And click on Validate. And lastly, scroll down to find Fuel Selector 1 All. Apply 3 and click on Validate. Then scroll down to the bottom, click Apply and Save, or hit the F11 key to save your changes. Now it's time to go on a fuel-fueled adventure. Let's load a new flight, and we'll select the Cessna Skyhawk G1000. Now let's locate the fuel tank select in our virtual cockpit. Here it is here. Left, both, and right fuel tanks are all working correctly. Now it's time for a nail-biting moment. Let's test the emergency fuel cutoff switch. I really hope it works, because we might really need that in case of an emergency. Ready? Phew, it works. I can feel my heart rate returning to normal. You are now ready to soar through the skies with Desktop Pilot's Fuel Tank Select. Now all that's left to do is attach it to the desk. Your Fuel Tank Select comes with two Velcro sticky tapes and four panel nuts. Just remove the white strip, attach it to the bottom of the product, remove the other white strip, and attach it to your desk or cockpit setup. For more thrilling aviation products, visit desktoppilot.com. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.